فعاش القلب وإخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم has actually expanded on this issue of knowledge so much so that he speaks of the people with knowledge being higher than all the others even if some who did not have knowledge might have had more acts of worship and this is why it's explained in a long hadith inna faqihan wahidan ashaddu ala shaytan min alf abid you can have a thousand worshippers of allah but one person who has a deep understanding of the deen is higher in rank than those thousand put together and the reason explained is quite clear the one person who has a deep understanding will be able to convey the message to the others he will be able to save a whole lot whereas those who don't really have much knowledge but they themselves are fulfilling their salah and perhaps engaged in the ibadah of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they may not be able to do that much the devil might come to them from places that they won't even know and this is explained in the hadith of muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this is why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says quite clearly in the quran قُلْ هَلْ يَسْتَوِ الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Ask them, say, are they equal, those who know and those who don't know? إِنَّمَا يَتَذَكَّرُ أُنُوا الْأَلْبَابِ Indeed, those who take heed are those with intellect. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the intellect. They are not equal. Why are they not equal? Because... When you have made an effort to learn the deen, you have made an effort to study, and you have made an effort to put it into practice, you are definitely on a higher level. And now you are teaching it to others so much so that Muhammad ﷺ tells us that whoever teaches someone else any goodness will achieve a full reward of whatever they have taught. And whenever it is practiced by the others, and will continue receiving a full reward even if those or when the others keep teaching the next generation and so on up to the day of Qiyamah. This is why my brothers and sisters, if I can pause for a moment, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the highest in rank, the best of creation. Do you know that as we are speaking and as we read Quran and whatever goodness we do, as we fulfill salah, Every droplet of reward that every single one of us is getting or has got in the past or will get in the future is going to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is receiving all that reward because he was the one chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to spread the message of goodness in the first place. So if I were to read the Quran, say I was to I were to say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. You and I know that for every letter that I read for the sake of Allah, I would achieve or receive 10 rewards. Imagine in that verse, there are so many rewards, perhaps 200 rewards or maybe even more. What would happen? Everyone in the chain of those who have taught one another going all the way back to Muhammad sallallahu in a split moment has registered reward similar to that of the reciter of the Quran. Now to put you into the picture, imagine how many people are reciting the Quran at any given time on the globe. So imagine if this, if we had electric cables or wires or, you know, optics or wireless, whatever it was to register the reward and it had to go through wires i think we would burn them all up immediately it would be jammed completely because at any given time people are reading fajr or Dhuhr or asr or maghrib or isha or quran or, or some good or people are teaching one another where did they get it from someone who got it from someone in the chain of narrators all the way back to muhammad sallallahu surely we need to join that somewhere I need to be in it somehow. Surely you need to be in that equation somehow. So that one day when I'm gone and you are gone, the reward continues for, in my account, so is yours. Subhanallah. This is why the hadith speaks of, إِذَا مَاتَ بْنُ آدَمَ انْقَطَعَ عَنْهُ عَمَلُهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثِ When the son of Adam, when the child of Adam, meaning human being, passes away, his deeds are cut off, his books are sealed, except from three things. One of them is a child who makes dua. Someone who makes dua or who prays, supplicates for them, the reward of that would go to them. Number two is knowledge that they have disseminated. Whenever it is practiced upon or taught to others, the full reward goes back, all the way back, completely. And it continues to add on to their account. And the third thing known as sadaqatun jariya, a charitable deed that they have 
given or a charity they have given a charitable deed they have engaged in which continues so for example someone drilled a borehole someone for example might have planted a tree someone has educated certain people or assisted contributed in some way someone has built a masjid or a madrasa or contributed towards it it is known as a sadaqatun jariya which means a charity that the benefit of it continues generations down even after we are gone so the reward will continue until that item is made use of or until the time that that particular item uh, finishes or comes to an end may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us